Hey guys, welcome back, and we are here with a starship that is honestly kind of amazing, and it might remind you of Star Wars, but in no way is actually related. And it's made by this amazing creator over here. Before we go any further, I want to make sure you're subscribed, because if you aren't subscribed, you can't watch the rest of the video, because that just wouldn't be fair, right? And this ship is actually kind of crazy how it functions, and it has a lot of small details. As you probably just saw, the hatch of the flying ship just opened up, and we can go inside. And it also even has a little egg holder, um, or at least that's what I like to call it, I don't know the specific use. Um, featuring a chest, which is, you know made of metal so you might have trouble opening it but it's kind of cool definitely not something you'd find in minecraft yet and also over here we have a custom ladder which albeit it's not that easy to get up but it is really cool looking and it fits with the theme a ton because it's just of how the ship is made and sometimes when you make builds like this you kind of have to sacrifice functionality and over here we have a little baby green thing not related to grogu or yoda from the Star Wars series, um, so don't don't think of it as such. And that's about it for the interiors. There's also a really nice window that you can see out of if you really wanted to, or if you're flying the ship. And if we come back over here, you'll be able to see the rest of the interior. And as we do with all things, we do a little fly test. I'm gonna place some jetpacks over here just in case. Um, but as you can see, it slows down between stages because that's just how build a boat works. But nevertheless, it looks really cool, even going at a slow speed. Now, as you can see, it doesn't have much else that it does, unlike some other ships, but I think it's the simplicity that makes it amazing. Now, would you believe this ship was built over a year ago, before most of the conveniences that we have today that make things like this a lot easier, this ship was built without any of that. Now, it did have some tools, and it did have a scale tool, and it had quite a few, but this one did not use a lot of the features that we take for granted today. So I think that's actually kind of cool to see. And without surprise, it does make it to the end very easily. It almost has a crash landing. And um, we get the treasure nice and easy, full credit, so you don't have to worry about losing any gold. And yeah, that's about it for the ship. It was honestly really amazing to tour it and had a lot of small details I did not expect. And I know this is a much shorter video than what you're probably expecting, but that's because I'm actually at college. So if you want to support the channel, make sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and, you know, join the Discord. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!